In this question, for the curve y equals x squared minus 5, the tangent to the curve will be parallel to the line connecting the positive x-intercept and the y-intercept when x is equal to one of these values. So for the curve, so it pays with this kind of question to actually draw a sketch of the situation. So x squared minus 5, that's your basic x squared parabola, move down 5. And then it says the tangent to the curve will be parallel to the line connecting the positive x-intercept. So that's here. And the y-intercept, which is here. So a line connecting those two straight lines. So there's my straight line, pretend it's straight. The tangent to the curve will be parallel to this line. So the only place that tangent can go, and it has to be going in the same direction, it's going to touch somewhere down here like that. So I'll just pretend that that's touching and fudge it a little bit just for the sake of getting it done. So let's say it's touching there and the, uh, the, the tangent to the curve will be parallel to the line connecting these two intercepts when x is equal to. So what they really want is the x value of where the tangent touches that curve. And so they're after the x coordinate of that point where the tangent touches the curve. So x equals what? So really you have to work backwards from the fact that this y-intercept has a value of minus 5 and this x-intercept up here, well, just working that out. So if you have y equals x squared minus 5 and you want the x-intercept, you would let y equal 0. So 0 equals x squared minus 5, x squared equals 5, and from there x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. So this would be the square root of 5, the positive square root of 5, this x-intercept. So if you know the gradient of that, that tangent, which would be the same as this gradient, so if you say the gradient of that tangent is equal to the gradient on the curve at that point where the tangent touches the curve, then this side will give you an expression that's got an x in it. So dy dx of that is 2x. And then this has a definite gradient, which is equal to the gradient of the tangent. So whatever that number is, if you put it here, you can then just solve for x. So the gradient of that line connecting those two intercepts, I mean, that's a right angle triangle. So rise over running is what you want. So the rise is 5. And so 5 over and the run is root 5. And there you go. You've got an equation with an x in it and the rest of the numbers. So 2x is equal to 5 divided by root 5 is root 5. And then divide both sides by 2, you get x equals root 5 over 2, which is answer D. And D is the correct answer for this one.